the screams of silence at night were deafening. The pain of a stillbirth is something women rarely talk about, but one local mother and her 14 year old son are now coming forward to talk about their loss. ABC Action News reporter Andrea Lyon with the Polk County family now hoping to change the way parents say their final goodbye. I'm doing one with 500. After nearly 20 years. I have had six boys. And a handful of kids later. I've questioned if I'm crazy. Diana Kolak's family puzzle is near complete. I just knew I was going in to have a baby. Everything was perfect. Although one piece will always be missing. He was gone. Xavier was born still 10 years ago next week. The family had just hours to meet for the very first time and then say their final words. He was so beautiful. So my mom wanted more time to spend with him, but couldn't have that time because his body started to decompose. But Diana's teenage son wants other parents to know there are options for more time. We were raising money to give parents more time to say goodbye to their babies. That's Maximus's mission. His goal is to raise enough money for cooling cradles like this one. Is it just lets them slow things down a little bit and really kind of just spend some quality time making memories with their baby. But as ABC Action News found out, there's less than a handful of these types of cradles all across Central Florida and the Bay Area. Hospitals we talked to said they either didn't know about the technology, cited that the $4,000 cribs weren't in their budget, or that policies prohibited the cribs. We've also heard that some have done a uh, different kind of training that recommends that they pack the babies in ice. For Diana, Do you need time. She would have done anything for just another moment. I would love to have had an, a, another day. Something a cradle like this could have done. Because when he's gone, he's gone. And she says, still can do for so many others. Andrea Lyon, ABC Action News.